Well, here we are again. We're working on Max's sedan today. Uh, we are trying to, no, we are going to install the electric fan and we wanted to show you guys how this is done. Max's car originally came with AC, so this process is gonna be different between a AC car and a non-AC car, because essentially with the AC car, there already was a fan, a pre-existing fan uh, that we're replacing, but we're using a quieter, high-efficiency fan uh, in its spot. So we're gonna be using existing wiring, so that's really the only difference is that if you don't have AC, there's no pre-existing wiring and you have to build it from scratch, so. First things first, uh, you gotta understand the system that you're working with. So. We have power, obviously that's gonna be feeding the fan, but we have switched power as well. So what that means is you have multiple relays. You have two actually. One is a low, low speed and one is a high speed fan relay. Um, it's this guy and this guy. So since we're using an aftermarket single speed fan, we're not gonna retain the dual uh, speed functionality. Uh, it's pretty much just on or off, depending on how hot the car is getting. Um, so it really doesn't matter which one you need because we need simply power to be fed to the fan. So we're gonna use the normal speed relay because technically that would be the first one that would kick on. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys really quick how you can determine the wiring because it may not be necessarily obvious. For example, these relays don't have the little usual uh, diagram. So if you're not familiar with 85, 86, 30, and 87, it can be a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to determine where the power is being fed through the fuse box and how it's being fed to the fan. Okay, so first things first, uh, we, like I said, have power coming from the battery to the fuse box, and we wanna figure out really quick which one of the prongs is receiving the power. So you have to imagine that the power is basically waiting to go to the fan, but it won't go until the little fan switch tells it to go. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna uh, probe around and poke and see that this guy has power. So it helps to write that down. Um, I start a little piece of, piece of paper here. Um, essentially, number 30 is power. So that's the battery feeding it. So now we wanna figure out what path uh, is gonna be taken to go to the fan. So you're gonna find your stock fan connector, which is this guy right here. Um, it should look really similar to this and it'll be located on a late model underneath your headlight assembly. Um, I believe on early models, it's actually on the passenger side, but I could be wrong. Regardless, so here we have three wires that are being fed to the fan. So one is gonna be your ground, then you're gonna have your high speed and your low speed signal. So now we're expecting one of those prongs to feed into the top normal or high speed relay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna check resistance um, or continuity with your uh, multimeter and then you'll know which wire to use or which wire to plug into to power your fan. Okay, so that beeping basically tells us that we have continuity between that prong or that terminal and the wire that we identified at the fan uh, plug. All right, so if you guys are still following along, uh, I wanna show off my you know, grand art skills. Um, we basically identified that we have power at 30, always, that's gonna be constant power, and that power goes to the fan through terminal 87, which is on the right side here. Now, if you guys know how a relay works, so these two are not connected, um, you need to bridge that connection, which is done through these two when power is fed through them. They basically close a little bridge between them and send power to the fan. Okay, and then the last piece of the puzzle is gonna be these uh, trigger wires that basically are the ones that bridge the relay, as I explained earlier. And that is done through this 82 degree fan switch. Uh, I'm gonna link the part number in the description. Uh, this is the one we like to use. It's very straightforward, it's just two prongs. And essentially, once we connect these and the coolant gets to 82 degrees Celsius, it's gonna close the current or the circuit and send the signal to the relay to get bridged, which then sends the power to the fan, kicks on the fan, and starts cooling the coolant. So I hope that explanation makes sense. I uh, hope you guys are following also, pay attention. But uh, that is the whole theory of what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna adapt the existing uh, fan 
connector and plug uh, to the BMW style plug. We're just gonna splice these wires in and basically convert it so that it's easy plug and play and we just put it into the stock wiring harness. And then that way if we ever wanna remove the fan, we can easily do so by just disconnecting these. Moment of truth, do you think it's long enough? Are you talking about the wiring or? Yeah. Okay. All right, um, well, let's find out. So this is where your fan goes, quite obviously. And then we extended the harness a little bit. Yep. Just made it. And the shoe fits, so. Awesome. We should be good. Um, we'll just run the wiring right along here. We'll, you know, wrap it all together. Yep. That'll be good. Perfect. Perfect. We're almost ready to test it and see if it works. So Awesome. And then obviously we have to mount this as well, uh, get it in place, but it's just easier to take it on and off for wiring and working on it, so. Goodbye. Let's just zip tie this in place for the meantime. Okay. I guess we can just do it right, like right there. Uh, let's go through the through the system really quick again. So as I said, you got power going to the relay. Uh, the power is basically jumped by the little fan switch and the power is fed to the fan. Um, we actually messed up and we actually had to use the high speed. So it's pretty much the same procedure except for uh, instead of using the normal speed, you use the high speed. So we have power pretty much ready to go. It just needs to be jumped. So I'm gonna jump it manually to show you guys what that looks like. I hear, and a, I hear a Subaru. There is a Subaru. So imagine that the coolant is really hot. It's about to hit 82 degrees. What would happen is that the fan switch would actually close the circuit. So I'm just gonna fake it by jumping it and then the fan should kick on and uh, we are done. So we're gonna be testing in three, two, one. Nice. It works. So like I said, I was just replicating what would happen in a real life scenario where the coolant is hot. But uh, yeah, it works. So hope you guys learned. Uh, definitely try everything yourself. Explaining it over a video with electrical stuff can be a little bit difficult. So definitely check everything yourself. Check continuity, check resistance, check power, etc. And uh, you should have a working fan.